Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I saw the movie Cats. What? Oh, that's right. Yes, I saw it. And I hated every single minute of it. This movie, no, I'm not even gonna say it. This movie, I have no words because I'm honestly <laughs> so upset about this movie. Me, uh, me and my girlfriend, we literally walked in and here's the footage right here. And like, I literally was so excited for this movie. All right, peeps. So we're having a movie going experience. We went to go see how's everybody doing today. Sorry to introduce, you know. Hi, this is my YouTube channel. Welcome. Uh, so we draw the ticket to go see Frozen. But instead, we are here to go see Cats. So with, you know, Jason Derulio and all that. So we shall see. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I can't believe it. What way to sign on the flyers again? Uh, 15 minutes could take you 15% yeah. of more at? car insurance. I think we're going to swap over so right to now, over 75 years of seats. savings and service. Oh, we're just going to swap over. Yep. And my girlfriend was kind of disappointed that we had to go see cats, but I told her we made it on the trip. Where am I? Right here. Oh, that's my seat. It's my seat. So right now, we are um, going to see cats in. Um, yep, it should be a spirit. So, babe, you have anything to say? Thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah, no, we're going to see how it is. I heard Taylor Swift and them and uh, Amy Schumer. I'm no, I'm wrong. I'm right, maybe. Robert Wilson, Robert Wilson. Uh, Jason Derulo and uh, Jennifer Hudson, Ed Selba, all the big names. So I'm a theater kid. I don't know a lot about this musical, so we shall see how it is. And yep, I'm gonna hit you guys back. Tell you how it is. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I hated every second of this movie. And I love movies. If people know me, I don't have a lot of subscribers or anything yet, but in the real world, it's not saying the real, not saying this is not the real world, but people who know me outside of this channel and everything know I love movies. I give movies the benefit of the doubt. I, I grew up watching movies. I grew up going to the theater, going to the movie theater to watch movies. So basically what I'm trying to get at to y'all is I'm not a hard judge on movies. I, as I've gotten older, I am, but no, not as in a child, a teenager. As i gotten older, I've just been, uh, that movie was trash, you know? Um, but usually the movie isn't that bad. Now, critics tore up this movie. I will give you that. That should have been my first time. But Rotten, Rotten Tomatoes is not, let's be honest. Some of the movies, they do bad, that movie was a hit. Some of the movies, they do good, that movie was trash to me. Or, or it'll be a great movie everybody loved. And Ron Timmy always be like, oh, this movie was uh, so terrible, blah, blah, blah. And the movie's fantastic to the audience. So you're confused. So when I saw Cats had a 19 or 20%, whatever it has, I'm thinking, oh, critics are tearing it up because of the CGI. It's live action. No one really likes live action movie nowadays i'm going in with that mindset and i'm also going into the mindset that i've never seen this movie before i knew i never knew about the cats broadway musical and i should know since i'm a theater kid like i stated in before the previous video i knew it existed but i never seen on broadway who has money for that i never seen a show of it so I'm going in blind. I don't know what I'm supposed to expect. Now, I did know this also. I had too many signs on why this movie didn't work. I had fans who loved the musical saying it was trash. Do not go see it. But once again, I'm thinking, okay, people are just mad because it's live action. CGI, weird faces, creepy sexual tension, whatever. Because people... Just, you know, hate stuff like that nowadays, especially if stuff is live action. So, not paying any mind to it, I go in. We were, we were me and my girlfriend posted to see another movie. It was sold out. So, we're like, okay, what's out now? We already knew Cats was out. We were like, okay, what's playing? Cats. Okay, let's get a ticket. Let's see what all the badness hype is about. And, y'all, let me say, I hated it. Every second, it was not 
worth my hour. I don't know how long the movie was. I truly despised this movie. Like, and it's not even to the point where it's like, okay, you hated it for its concept. No, I think the concept is great. I love how the cats can live in their own universe, in their own world, and can explore and go to this heaven side lair, or whatever they call, or whatever the or whatever the cats were called, Jezazels or whatever. I'm probably effing up the name. I don't care. I love that concept. And if you actually look into the history of the show and really pay attention to the characters and the dialogue and development of the actual Broadway musical, it's fantastic. Don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing any of the, the plot development of the characters or the creation of this Broadway wonderful musical. No, I'm not doing that at all. I'm bashing this terrible, ter garbage, juice. Ter it was such a bad movie. For one, okay, let me backtrack real quick. I understood it was a musical. I get that. But this movie, no. This movie played like you already knew what was going to happen. And I didn't like that. I hate when movies do that. And let's be honest. A lot of live action movies are doing that nowadays. They're just playing live action versions like children or people like me have seen it before. You maybe have a kid who, who's eight years old who's never seen Aladdin and you're over playing the live action. You're not creating the amazing topic type of scenes that was in the first one. Now I get it. I'm just using Aladdin as an example since it's a live action version and it's many live action versions out there. I totally get that. But my point is a lot of people didn't know what cat what cats was about. I keep stuttering because I'm so upset with this movie. It was it's like the I don't know what they were doing. The, okay, basically, let me just explain it. The whole movie, the movie starts out with this, the car driving up to this abandoned alleyway, and, and you get uh, this cat in the bag. The cat is named Victoria. So, oh, and she's supposed to be the main character of the thing. So you're like, oh, okay, we about to get some character development. We about to figure out why she got abandoned. We, we, we really got to figure out what's going on. No, we get a song immediately. They literally rip her out the bag, the other cats, and we get a song immediately. I'm okay with that, I think. So I, we keep going. So as we keep going, the song is longer. The song is longer. The song is longer. And at this point, I'm like, what in the hell is going on? Why are we not stopping? Can we please have some dialogue? Please, let's go. Some plot can kick in now. Why is it not ending? I'm confused. I was literally, I was behooved. I was like, why is it not ending? Why is it not keep going? Why is it... It was literally dancing music, dancing music, dancing music, dancing music in every little scene. That's my problem. And I've never seen the Broadway musical. So I don't know if the Broadway musical does that. I don't know if shows do that. But from what my understanding, people who love this musical, turns out it had plot. Turns out it had character development. Turns out you actually figure out why they want to go to this other life. Why they want better for their life. And you actually understand each character. It's not just, hey, that's James, I forgot his last name, but the guy from the host. He's the fat cat. We're going to do his whole bit about eating. Then he has a joke. Yeah, that's cool. Then we got Jason Derulio and I, I'll admit. I can't even admit I'll admit, I enjoyed his scene, but I, I, don't, I didn't even know what the characters were about. Then we had Rebel Wilson. Basically, you got, when they, when they sung their songs, you basically got what they wanted in the life. They were like, oh, we're tired of doing this. I'm tired of doing that. I'm tired of doing this routine every single day. I got the gist of that. But I didn't understand each character. There was no... And then they had a love story between the magician cat and Victoria. And you're like, how are you supposed to feel for these characters when you didn't get any love from each, any character? You, it, the movie was simply so bad. And then the climax of the movie. The villain is Idris Elba. Don't know the cat's name. Sorry, I don't. He... He's like, oh, he so he gangs up all the cats, and he because he wants he wants to go to the heaven side layer, which is basically heaven to the cats, a better life. And I guess he's been trying it for years. 
I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. So he gangs up all the cats who are auditioning go, to go to the heaven side layer, traps them on this boat, and is like, oh, I'm going to win. And then Taylor Swift comes, and she throws catnip around, and she gets the cats all high, and it, it's like, at this point, what's going on? I literally turned to my girlfriend and said, I want to go home. I hate this movie. I have, no, I have no idea what's going on. I'm tired of it. I want to go home. I'm done with it. So she was like, okay, let's go. But it got it got to the point where I was like, it's almost over. Let me just let me just sit through it. But sitting through it was so painfully, it was so bad. And before I keep going with this rant, I am gonna say this. Every actor and actress, you did amazing. Wonderful. Jennifer Hudson. You literally sung your heart out. Jennifer Hudson can do all wonderful, amazing things. She was wonderful. Every actor, every actress, every performer, every choreographer, everyone that put their heart and soul to this movie, I put my hat off to you. I really do because I don't know if I can sit there with a straight face and be a cat. I'm an actor. Maybe I can. I don't know. But I will admit, I saw determination and... I'm trying to look for the word. Determination and hardworkingness, if that's a word, for this movie. Sadly, the plot failed. It wasn't a good movie. But am I going to disregard the actors and the actresses and the choreographers and the producers and the directors? No, I'm not. But I am going to uh, go at the writers and the people who thought, hey, this plot is okay. Let's just upload it to the theaters. Knowing you have such a big fan base for the cat movie. I'm sorry, I'm not going to give you a pass for that. Because people actually were looking forward to this movie. And you disappointed them by this trash you uploaded to the picture. And people spend their hard-earned working money to go see this movie. And you gave them nothing. You gave them trash. You gave them literal garbage. It had no writing, no plot. It was literally terrible. I hated every second of this movie. And I wish and I hope that someone else sees this movie and goes, God, this is awful. Why is this showing? I hope it never sees the existence of life ever again. I love everyone that was in the movie. That's all I got to say, y'all. Um, Yeah, this movie was trash. I don't like it. I hated it. And I'm a person that loves movies, so that's my cat review, I guess. I don't review movies, but hey, if people want to see me review movies, leave a comment below in the description and what you want me to do. My name is Mike Conti, and I hate cats. No okay, guys, so no we went to see cats, right? And no it was terrible, not. in our opinion. The movie was trash. It had no direction. No character development. The songs were even hidden. If you had music, there gotta be at least one song. Jennifer Hudson, she killed it. That was the only good part of the movie. I can say. But other than that, the movie was god awful. Don't waste your money. Please don't see it. I, I have you no heard other him. words. I have no other words. And this is coming from a person who loves to see movies. movies. I love and movies. yeah. So he knows. So